Both the coordination of actors and delivery of services will increasingly depend on the extent of adoption and deployment of technology. The transformational power of technology remains underappreciated. It can transform the weakest link into a model and a threat into opportunity. I am confident that as chair of NCAJ committee on ICT, Mr. Justice Isaac Lenaola is alive to all these possibilities and is providing leadership in the direction of the future. And maybe to confirm to you that the government of Kenya, we have now sorted out all the issues that encumbered our digitization of government services under the e-citizen platform. And in a couple of weeks, we will roll out a robust program on digitizing all government services, 5,000 government services. Um, we will give. <clears throat> in this process, we will work with the judiciary to see whether we can build synergy in digitization of services in the judiciary so that we can support a seamless um, technology use across uh, government. We have also, um, we are working also on a program to ensure that that digitization exercise enables government to collect taxes. And I encourage the judiciary to support the process of government raising taxes by kicking out all people who are seeking refuge in the judiciary and who have refused to pay tax. I think the judiciary should not give them a safe haven. I have already discussed with the Kenya Revenue Authority that no matter should go to court unless it must, that we should try and sort out all matters, try to talk to our customers, try to talk to all taxpayers, try and resolve all the issues out of court. So whenever you see a matter now appearing in court, please know that we have exhausted all efforts to try and resolve that matter out of court and help us so that people who don't want to pay tax do not find any refuge in our court system.